माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर एम प्रसाद एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑन पावर सिस्टम कॉल्ड द टाइप्स ऑफ लाइटनिंग एरिस्टर्स नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ लाइटनिंग एरिस्टर्स द फर्स्ट वन इज रॉड गैप एरिस्टर द सेकेंड वन इज हॉर्न गैप एरिस्टर एंड द थर्ड वन इज the multi gap arrester and fifth one is expulsion type lightning arrester and fifth one is the valve type lightning arrester has shown in the figure the operating principle of all this type of arresters are same that is they conducts the high voltage from line to ground they are differ only for their construction in today's class i will discuss about the first two arresters the first one is rod gap arrester and the second one is horn gap arrester now the construction of rod gap arrester it consists of two 1.5 cm rods with a gap between them has shown in the figure this is the rod 1 and this is a rod 2 between them the gap is there so the one rod is connected to the line and the other rod is effectively grounded in order to protect the insulators which are placed on the transformer bushing under normal condition the gap is non conducting because normal voltage is not able to break the air insulation between the gap so no arc has formed but high voltage breaks the air insulation between the gap and arc has formed as shown in the figure now when the arc has formed now the gap is conducting and it will conducts the high voltage from the line to ground through the rod gap through the rod gap as shown in the figure this high voltage diverts from line to ground this is the simple construction of the rod gap now the operating principle of the rod gap operating principle of rod gap without the rod gap now whenever lightning hood strikes on a overhead transmission line what happen the voltage is increases see here the voltage is increases this voltage diverts from this line to ground through the insulators so due to such a high voltage the insulators may get damage in order to protect this insulators and the transformers we are using the rod gap arresters so the second case we are using with rod gap so these are the rod gaps used to protect this insulators and the transformers so again when the lightning hood strikes on a overhead transmission line the voltage is increasing from its normal level so this voltage break downs the break breaks the air insulation between the gap and arc has formed when the arc has formed the gap is conducting and it will conducts the high voltage from the line to ground in this way it will protect the insulators and the transformers from the lightning this diagram shows the the connection of rod gap and the insulator see here this is a insulator this is a conductor this is a earth and this is rod gap and the gap is 1.5 cm when the high voltage occurs now arc has struck and the high voltage diverts from this rod to ground in this way it will protect the insulators now the limitations of the rod gap the first one is after the surge is over the arc in the gap is maintained by normal voltage which leads to short circuit on a power system when the surge is over means there is no lightning when there is no lightning the over voltage you see this over voltage becomes normal voltage now this normal voltage is maintaining the arc when the normal voltage maintaining the arc what happen short circuit would occur on a power system short circuit would occur on a power system this is the first limitation and the second one is the, the rod may 
get melt or a damage due to excessive heat produced by this rod gap. Due to this limitation, the rod gap arrester is used for the ba backup protection of the main arrester. Now, the horn gap arrester. The why we use the horn gap arrester to protect the conductors, to protect the conductors, to protect the transformers, to protect the insulators and the other other transmission line equipments now from lightning. The horn gap arrester is used. Now, construction of horn gap arrester consists of two horn shaped rods A and B separated by a small air gap as shown in the figure. As shown in the figure A and B, two horn shaped metal rods. Okay, between them the gap is there. So one end of the rod is connected to the equipment to be protected through the resistance and the choke coil, and the other end is effectively grounded. The resistance is used to limit the current and the choke coil. Choke coil is designed in such a way that under normal condition its reactance is very low, but at a high voltage condition its reactance is increases. It does not allow the high transients and the voltages to enter into the equipment to be protected. Now operation of the horn gap. So see these are the and these are the horn gaps. And in order to protect these insulators, we are using this horn gap. The first case is without horn gap. When the lightning would strikes on a horror transmission line, what happens? The voltage is increases. As you know, the increased voltage it diverts from this line to ground through this insulator. So, due to such a high voltage, the insulators may get damaged. In order to protect the insulators, we are using horn gap arrester. So, to, due to high voltage, what happens? Uh, the arc has formed between uh, the horn gap and the high voltages diverts from line to ground through this horn gap instead of this insulator. In this way, we are protecting the insulators and the transformers from the lightning. Next class, we shall discuss about the remaining three lightning arrester that is, multi gap lightning arrester, expulsion type lightning arrester, and bulb type lightning arrester. Thank you.